Hello and good day, ladies and gents. Mo Monocle here, welcoming you back to Owlboy. So, last time, we got the medallion. We've just been in this... I don't know what you call this, this space tower for the owls. Point is, is that Solus is running around here and he's planning to take over the world with the relics, of course. Uh, we called that quite a while ago, it was pretty obvious, but... Now we just have to go through some more jumping puzzles, and hopefully it doesn't take too long, but... I'm really not good at them, so bear with me. Okay. And it's going to be kind of stupid if this is like literally the last part of the game. I know, I realize that it's it's the end, but I did stop the last episode like, you know, hopefully not five minutes before we have things wrapping up. And I'm guessing I did do just that. Oh man, where are we rising to? I think I can see the top of the tower above us. If we stay on this platform, we can still make it here to where Solus is. Are we gonna have to fight a bunch of pirates? Eh. What's with the what's with the crazy violins in the background? Oh, whoa! Is it? I don't understand what's going on. Okay, am I supposed to ditch the homies? Okay. What's going on? Okay, I didn't see that. There's like an orchestra following me in the background. And the violins start their... their discourse. Come on, explode the platform. Okay, I'm just gonna jump over here. Bye guys, see you later. I know they're just teleported to me, they're fine. Okay, we don't want to use up the blocks too soon. Bump. Okay. Ugh. Okay. There we go. No! Uh, uh, honest, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, man, that's priceless. Okay. Yep, this is definitely going to take longer than we thought. Come on, let's, let's do this. I'm just gonna jump on this one because it's obvious. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya, boys. Come on. Oh. Okay, perfect. Let's wait this out. Perfect. If I just float down, this makes this a lot easier. Okay, Getty. Try to hold on. I'm seeing my friends pass by. Stay afloat, Otis. <laughs> God damn it. This is so... If we could just do it in one sequence, it would be really motivational and cool, but... Unfortunately, I'm not good at this game, so what can I say? Stay afloat, Otis. Thanks for the tip, man. Whoa! Oh, they're gonna attack me? What is this? Teleport us to when it's... Us to you when it's safe. Okay. Okay, I gotta give it to the developers. The music in this part is freaking awesome. The violins? Oh my goodness. What's happening? What? The mountain literally broke off? Oh, is that supposed to happen? How am I flying? Am I supposed to dodge stuff now? Oh, great, googly moogly. And the music here, guys, is just so good. I'm just gonna keep on talking about that because it's giving me the tingles. You know that moment? The music is everything in a game. I'm just dodging this stuff, it's fine. I don't know how I'm flying now, though. Oh, we're all floating? Is there no gravity? Oh my goodness, Twig's face also looks really cool right now. I can't believe it. I believe we are witnessing the end of the world, my friends. <laughs> we ourselves are floating. The floating continents are rising into space. This is the end. That's kind of depressing, Alphonse, saying it so matter-of-factly. It's happening so suddenly. What has Solus done up there? Yeah, whatever Solus is doing up there, we have to stop him. I see his tower above us. Let's go. Oh, okay, boys. 
I guess we're gonna have to fight some enemies at this point. Whoa. Man, it just doesn't stop. This is crazy. Is it possible we can go down? No. Whoa, this is so freaking weird, guys. Has anybody ever seen Akira? Because I'm getting strict Akira vibes right now. Like, super, super Akira. This is, like, very cyberpunk right now. In a way, I guess. Man, this is insane. I'm sure you guys will know what I mean. Like, if anybody's watched Akira, they'll definitely understand what I'm talking about here. Okay. So we got the big owl staff going up into that bit. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go higher? Can I go higher? Oh, this way. Gotcha. Okay. Is there somebody there? There's somebody following me. Where are you? I know Solus is following me. Where are you? Ooh, a fruit. A magical fruit. Just for me. Man, this place must have been beautiful when it was intact. I wonder how Solus found out about all the owls and stuff. Like, he, I know he was kind of a bookworm, but like, where did he get all that information? Maybe before Advent was destroyed, there was a bunch of books there. Whoa. Hey, buddy. He also has, like, an original owl cloak, it looks like. Because they do do a diamond pattern everywhere. Huh? How'd you get up here? Never mind that, Solus. Quickly, we have to. No! I've t told you already. I'm not interested in what you have to say. But I'm using the relics. That's all. I'm nearly finished here. Please don't get in my way. Repeating. I told you not to disturb me. I'm at a critical stage in the process. Okay, so what now? I call upon the power of the Hex Relics. Mold us back into one form. Man, this is blowing my mind right now. What do you guys think? I don't like this, Otis. I thought Solus was our pal, but... He just isn't listening at all. Not to us, anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. If he doesn't listen, we may have to stop him. Okay, so like, why don't we? Okay, can we just spam him? Y you're free to leave, you know. You're just bothering me. I'm through talking to you. Repeating. Okay, so there's nothing going on there. I call upon the power of the hexes. I don't know what to do either, boys. Okay. Oh, okay, I hit him. Whoa, Otis is actually mad for once. What are you doing? Have you gone mad? Snap out of it, Solus. The relics are too dangerous. Have you forgotten what happened in Advent? No one can use them, ever. We have to destroy them. <laughs> you have to see sense, Solus. We will help you avoid the pirate's retribution, but please stop this. Using the relics for power will only make things worse. That's right. We'll stop you if we have to. I don't have time for this. I've been telling you guys to leave me alone. I gave you lots of chances. But it's clear that you guys don't understand. So I guess I just have to make you leave. Okay. Things are getting crazy. Oh, you want some, boy? Okay, we got one. So the the trick is to get the relics. Oh, okay. Yeah, two can play at that game, mister. Get that relic, boy. Ah, we got another relic. Whoa, what is he doing now? Whoa, okay. Cool. Whoa, laser beams. Laser beams, lots of laser beams. Why do final bosses always have laser beams? Oh, hey, what up, boy? Oh, okay. Ah, but my shadow cloak can dodge these things. Ouch. Mister. Oh. Oh, okay. 
Come at me, bro. Rah. I don't think I can even use Alphonse. Maybe he was just for the first one. Oh, we got the final one. Okay. Do I just keep on... Okay. That's what you get, Solus. You big meanie. He's doing it again? Okay. Okay, we got the first one. Okay, now I think it's time for Getty. Everybody has their, their order. Okay, so it's Getty. It's always Alphonse first, then Getty. And then, uh... Twig last. Which makes sense. Well, I don't know. It doesn't make sense, actually. So I was gonna say, if it were in order... Okay, now it's time for Twig. Oh, ouch. Ba-boom-boom. -boom. We almost got him. Come on, faster! Oh, we got it. And then me to fish him off. Okay. Is he gonna do it? Is he gonna go into Super Super Saiyan mode? Ultra Saiyan mode? He keeps on getting... Oh, okay. He's breaking the space-time continuum. This is crazy, boys. Uh, ouch, okay. And this is crazy! We're in like some sort of psychedelic trip right now. Twig, you're my man. I don't know what to do. Oh, man, he's blasting off at the speed of light. He's like a Powerpuff Girl right now. Definitely like a Powerpuff Girl. All right. Oh man, don't you, don't you come at me with the... Oh, okay. Oh, oh. I can dodge you. Oh, there's so many solaces. Oh, ouch, okay. Boyo, you don't go, know what you... Okay, we got him. Oh, his feathers have been torn. Or no, maybe that's just the way we're looking at it. Plow. Ugh. No, I, I can't move. Now listen to us. Stop this power crazy stuff. Using the relics is going to get people hurt. No, you're wrong. I'm trying to help. But use by using the relics? Don't you remember Advent? Those things are weapons. No. No, no, no. That's not what the relics were made for. That's just how Malstrom used them. Please explain, Solus. I didn't want to tell you this, but I need you to understand. I'm going to tell you of the great shame of the owls. The hex and the anti-hex. The relics were created long ago, when the owls lived at the planet's surface, and the floating islands did not exist. Owl technology was beyond our imagination, and the owls studied the deeper secrets of the universe. The relics were made after the owls made a fateful discovery. A discovery that sent owl society into infighting and chaos. The Loop What is the Loop? I am not certain, but the owls were obsessed with it. They worked for centuries in a desperate struggle to find a way to end the loop. Finally, they found a solution. A hex that would after the laws of nature... The, oh, a hex that would alter the laws of nature to blah blah blah. I did not get the chance to read that. The relics were designed to be the fuel for the hex. Centuries after they were made, the owls were finally ready for their hex. Now guys, let me hypothesize here. I'm pretty sure the loop, quote unquote, is the circle of life. Life and death. They wanted to end the loop of life and death, so maybe they wanted to live forever. That makes sense, considering like they're all intellectuals and you know they have all this crazy technology. And they were talking about before when we were in the flowing continent that the one guy was like, "I'm sad that I will not get to see the fruits of my labor," uh, but my and then his son picked up on it. So maybe that's what we're talking about here. Centuries after they were made, the owls were finally ready for their hex. So what happened? Did the hex work? It was the biggest disaster in the history of the planet. I don't even know if the hex broke the loop. 
that should have been le the least of their worries. The hex backfired, shattering the planets, continents, and into floating islands in the sky. Whoa. And the planet was reduced to a giant empty ocean. Wow. That's pretty crazy. And the islands are still rising. You must have seen it outside. The world is ending. Time is running out. In a matter of days, we'll all have risen to cold, unbreathable space. But... The anti-hex. You mentioned something about an anti-hex. This library was built to find a way to bring the planet's expansion under control and reverse it. When I found it, I learned that the owls created relics which have been absorbing power for centuries. My question is, how did he get up here? Now, they are ready to be used for the anti-hex, which will bring the islands back down to the ocean. That is what I'm preparing. An anti-hex to save the world. Alright, Solus, we were wrong. Man, you should have told us, Solus. Why did you try to do this all on your own? I, I didn't. I got the pirates to help me by promising them power. Tricking the pirates led to the destruction of Advent, Solus. I just... I didn't know of anyone who I could trust. You should have trusted us, man. Let's help you finish this anti-hex. Come on, Solus. What do we have to do? I... I... You just have to... Gasp. Oh no! Is that... Ah, uh, it's the friggin' pirates. Owl boy! You traitor! I'm coming for you! Great. So now what? The world just ends? Perfect. Holy crap. That's a menacing face. The hull of the ship. Oh no! Oh man, oh man. The captain is here. Look outside! Whoa. The world is... It's all coming apart. Man, things have gone super crazy. Yeah. You've run off with my relics. Owl boy, you dare betray me? I, I haven't betrayed you, Molstrom. I'm trying to save you and everyone else. I'm trying to prevent the planet from being destroyed. Oh yeah, Otis. Oh shit, talky mushrooms. No! Otis, are you alright? Oh shit. So you're saving the world, is that it? Why would I care if the planet is destroyed? Give the relics back to me now. Please, I can't. Ugh. Otis, take this. Oh man, I'm getting real juiced up. What happened? Is Master Otis breathing? Yes. Good, get him out of here. I'll keep the captain at bay. Hurry, Master Gutty. Twig, I can't hold him for long. Uh, uh. We have to, Ot we have to get Otis up. Oh, there goes Alphonse. Ugh. Man, he is giant. Look at those little feet, though. Hurry up and get away, Otis. We'll hold him back. Twig, follow me. Hurry, Otis. Okay, Twig. Otis! Come on, buddy. We can't run away. Please, I can't move. You have to complete the anti-hex. Prepare the totem. Hopefully that will be enough. Okay, I need it. Wow, I'm crawling. This is so sad. Where am I supposed to be going? And Malstrom is... Oh, no. Come on! Oh, what's going- oh, I got a little bit more powered up. Now I'm walking. Now what do I do? Do I just- Okay, we got one. Come on guys, hold him. Ouch. Did Getty hurt him or something? Oh, okay, I'm getting powered up by the relics. Uh, 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 there we go. Man, this is so freaking epic. Do you hear this music, guys?
Man, the developers, you guys really put a lot of work into the last bit of this game. I mean, this game is great, but this last bit has been freaking amazing. And we did it. The totem is prepared. Is everything falling down now? We are falling. I can tell we are falling. Otis, get out of here. Uh, is Are we falling? Okay, no, we got slapped by the wind. Can't even, Maelstrom can't even hold back. Whoa, okay. Is he taking our life force? Or is that just because we have the relics? Why the fuck did it blast us? Otis! Otis! Whoa, what is going on? The anti-hex! It's emerging from his body! But is he... Hmm. So this is what your treachery is about. You think this is enough to stop me? I'll crush this little hex of yours. Oh, man. He really looks like an owl there. Like, if you looked at his shadow, it really looked like that. Otis! Someone help Otis! What is going on? Man, guys, I have so many questions right now. Is Otis going to be okay? Whoa. What the heck? This game is blowing my mind. <laughs> okay, so can we go anywhere else? Oh, this is where Asio was. What the heck is going on, guys? Oh, it's all in a line. Otis, how has school been lately? I hear Asio might take you under his wing soon. You're so lucky, Otis. Oh, these are memories. Oh, it's Bongo Man. Hi, little Otis. Want to drop by my place sometime with Fib and Bonacci? Bonaki, I guess. We'll play drums till the sun sets. Aw, oh, so sweet. See, now this is when all of the islands were chained together like proper, I guess. Huh? Oh, is this, uh, oh, this is, uh, the guy who's in the hot spring. Hi there, youngin. Want to join me in the hot spring? No? You're a hard worker, Otis. Just like the other owls. No, everybody was so sweet to Otis. Uh, do I go in here? No. Oh, I fly up. Yes. Okay. Jumping. Jumping. Oh, I guess I can fly now. I'm not used to this flying business. Oh, it's the professor. Otis, do say hi to the ta what who are Letia and Scops for me. Do say hi to Letia and Scops for me. I hear he'll be studying under Asio soon. He handpicked you, I heard. I'm glad he did. I think you two will be a great fit. Ah, makes it even more touching because we know what happened with Asio in that other scene when he hugged it out with us. Oh, it's the tree. Yeah, whatever happened to that tree? Oh, it's this white tree. Do we go over here now? Whoop. I don't know what this sequence is all about. Is this Asio? No, this is Solus. Otis, I'm glad you're doing well. You don't recognize me? It's me, Solus. Listen, um, I don't know if you think of me as a friend, but I always thought of you as my only friend. Aw. I hope the next time we meet, it'll be under different circumstances. They're so... So much I want to tell you. Hmm, interesting. And here is the graveyard. Hey, Asio. How's it going, buddy? Welcome, Otis. I'm very glad to see you again. You're probably wondering where you are. You're not dreaming. You're seeing visions of the past and the future. What the heck? And from today? You may not remember any of it, but it is real. Grew up with good people, Otis. Full of affection for you and hopes for your future. And regret for things said and done. That's good, because none of you were all too nice. These visions are our gift to you. The truth, I think, is often the greatest gift. 
especially since people are so prone to forgetting the things they should cherish most. You must have many questions. Come, sit down. Whoa, guys. It's getting me in the feels again. Oh, he, he can talk. He can talk. Is everyone going to be okay? Getty, Alphonse, Twig, and all the rest. Yes, Otis. You succeeded out there. The fact that you're here means the anti-X has worked. I didn't say that right, but you get what I mean. What will happen now? The islands will be sinking. Your generation will know the surface, as we did. Thanks to you, the world will be whole once again. It will be difficult to adjust to life on the surface after all this time. But it will be overcome. I hope you don't blame us for what we've put you through. We tried to change the universe, and we paid a price for that. You paid the price, that price too. In order to end the loop, we were willing to do anything. Even risk our future, your present. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, guys, I'm tearing up a bit. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that we wanted to discover the nature of the universe, and in doing so, we lost ourselves. Maybe one day, in this life or the next, you will learn about the loop. But there are far more rewarding things to learn about the universe than how it ends. You're probably worried that this is the end for you. Don't worry. In this world we've created, there's always a second chance. Our time is up. And I know I'm not the only one, but... I've always believed in you, Otis. <laughs> oh, man. This is really hard, guys. Whew. Man. Oh, Owlboy keeps kicking my ass. This game was so normal until all those heartfelt moments. Especially with Asio. I've noticed every single time I talk to Asio, I almost, like, ball. Oh, Man, this is crazy. This looks so cool. And I'm falling down towards the water. Are we at the end of the game? Yes. D-Pad Studio, you guys did a hell of a job. Let me say that much. You know, most of the gameplay, there wasn't a lot of story to it until, like, you know, you know the key moments. I found the early parts of the game... They weren't very story heavy, they kind of just let you feel out the world. The only critique I have is, I don't think you can get attached enough to this world if there weren't more, a little bit more story. Like, there has to be a little bit more going on. I guess with the destruction of Advent, if I had been a little bit quicker with moving along, I might have felt it more, but it didn't feel like there was that much going on. I guess you're more attached to Otis because he can't speak or anything. He can't express emotion. So anything that's going on with Otis, you, uh, you know, you feel a little bit more of it. The problem with Advent is because you, you didn't get to interact with many people there. Everybody you knew survived. You didn't know of anybody else. But with Otis, any interactions he had with Asio or... I said in a few episodes ago, I would have really liked to see... Uh, Otis make up with the bullies because that would have been important unless they didn't make it which would have been surprising Yeah, I don't know like Any the only times I was felt really attached to this game was when uh, the conversation with Asio was being had and also um, At the end there and I mean It's very very fun uh, in memory of you see there I really hope that all those people didn't pass away or anything, but usually that's what it means. I understand that, but not always, I suppose. But yeah, I was kind of more attached to the adventure of the game until those story beats happened. Um, oh, we have a scene here. We're supposed to do anything? Oh, there's the glittering. I'm sure that's Otis falling from the sky. We're 
We're behind the clouds now. Wow. Man, that's so amazing. Whew. Man, they, they pour their souls into the end of this game. I can tell. I can really tell. And we're back at the beginning, guys. Now, the question is, can we continue? Because I do want to see if anything happens with those medallions. So we'll press continue and see where we're at here. Oh. Okay. So we could have backed up there. Do we... Okay, we don't want to fight him. Let's not do this, guys. We're going to return to title screen. And we are going to go back to the surface. Um, guys, I'll do a little bonus episode where we're going to go explore what the medallion does. But at this point, I mean everything I said in the credits. Um, Owlboy is a great game. I really loved it, especially the end. The end sealed the deal for me. But I'll stand by what I said about... I didn't get involved enough. I didn't get attached enough to the characters. I liked Alphonse. I liked Getty. But there wasn't enough, like, meat and potatoes of story there, you know? The reason why the end is so touching is because it does provide closure. Um, it's important because people mistreated Otis in the past. And as a person in life, when you've been mistreated by others, I think you can really connect with Otis. He's different from everybody. I think everybody has experienced that at some point. You feel different. You're not accepted. Um... Solus was maybe Otis's only friend besides Getty, but these people were outcasts, right? It's what I, If you watch the whole series, you know I did talk about this. I did touch on it at one point. But they're all outcasts, and you need to kind of... You need to have felt like an outcast to really understand this story. It hits, you, it hits home in that one aspect. Um, it's a great adventure. Uh, if you play it all the way through in like one sitting, it might take a while, but I was a little slow, but I feel like you can really capture what Owlboy is if you play it all the way through in one sitting. At the end of the day, Owlboy is a fantastic game. I would play it again. Uh, it's a great fun to just blast through. I'm sure everybody can agree that the music and the art style is absolutely phenomenal. There's not much else to say. On that note, ladies and gents, I appreciate you joining me through my Let's Play of Owlboy. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.